Hey what's up I'm Nizio Cole and today we have another Watch Dogs story concept video. Now I haven't done one of these videos in a while, I actually got the idea from a recent video I did on the Watch Dogs movie. If you guys weren't aware, there was a Watch Dogs movie that was announced and I'll have a link to that video in the description if you want to go check it out. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, how it works is I just come up with a story that I think is pretty cool and I talk about it on the video. Now this story concept is called Watch Dogs Reboot. Now this is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, it is a reboot to the Watch Dogs franchise. It would be a way to clear up all of the timeline inconsistencies created by Legion. Like seriously, it's insane, when is this game even supposed to be set? And also it would be a good way for Ubisoft to right the wrongs done by the E3 controversy. Now if you're new to the Watch Dogs community and you somehow don't know what the E3 controversy was, that was where the Watch Dogs trailer from E3, I believe it was E3 either 2012 or 2013, the trailer looked amazing and the game looked a lot worse. People didn't like that, and honestly, I believe that it stunted the potential of the Watch Dogs franchise as a whole. Personally, I didn't care or even know about this until after I would beat the game since I started playing Watch Dogs like three years after, but I can understand why some people were upset. So now with that out of the way, let's get into the actual story concept. So I think that this Watch Dogs 1 reboot would be set in an alternate universe version of the original Watch Dogs 1. It would start off in a much darker version of Bottom of the Eighth, where there is no Jordy and there is no Bad Boy 17, at least in the beginning. In this world, Lena isn't the only one killed by Lucky Quinn, Jax and Nikki are also dead. This Watch Dogs reboot would have all of the features more or less, with some slightly altered from the original E3 demo, and Aiden is pretty much lone wolf for the first half of the game. The game will see a reimagined version of the classic hacking mechanic that's slightly more realistic, but still very fun and isn't too complicated. Most of the story would follow the same path with a few alterations here and there, but Aiden would meet Jordy and Clara in the third act when he goes after the Chicago South Club to find some information. He crosses paths with the field unit of the Chicago Dead Sick, which in this universe include Jordy, Clara, and one other person that's pretty close in tone uh, and role to Josh from Watch Dogs 2. In this universe, the tone of Chicago DeadSec is much closer to the DeadSec in Watch Dogs 2. They meet back at the bunker, and Aiden begrudgingly realizes that if he wants to get these guys, he'll need to team up with DeadSec. They clash heads for quite a bit in the beginning, as they're still getting used to working with each other. Chicago DeadSec is generally a lot less calculated than Aiden is when it comes to planning ops. There's a mission that ends up going bad because of something that one of the DeadSec members does, and Aiden gets upset and almost breaks off the whole partnership because he thinks that they should have planned and figured out those issues before they went on the operation. But they eventually figure it out and work together pretty well by Act 4. During Act 4, there will be an underlying theme of Aiden struggling with his morality and doing a lot of self-reflection, as being around the more light-hearted DeadSec members makes him question his crusade and all of the lives that he's taken in pursuit of avenging his family. About halfway through the act, Aiden and Clara have a heart to heart that opens Aiden up a little bit more, and at the end of act 4, Aiden and the team are almost ready to take Bloom down, but they are missing a crucial component, Raymond Kenny. So at the start of act 5, they start to look for Raymond Kenny, and at first things go exactly how they did in the original Watch Dogs 1, but this time they are led directly to his junkyard and search and don't turn up anything. The first half of this chapter is simply spent looking for Raymond Kenny. They eventually stumble upon evidence while learning about Ray and his past that suggests that Default killed Raymond years earlier. The team is devastated. They do, however, find his notes, which have the keys that they need to take down Bloom. During the final mission, they infiltrate Bloom headquarters and discover that Raymond Kenny is alive and has been locked up by Bloom, who also faked his death and killed the real Default. They destroy CTOS infrastructure, sending the entire company into disarray. And that is the story concept. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is that pretty much everything would be upgraded, obviously. The graphics, the map. The map would be much bigger, but still basically Chicago. And yeah, let me know what you think about this story concept. What would you change about it? Do you think Watch Dogs should get a reboot? Let me know. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.